I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise focuses on decision making through the Charleston. The Charleston is half the game. If you can master this part of the game, you can learn to set yourself up for success for the rest of the game when you pick and discard one tile at a time. During the Charleston, you're getting three tiles at a time, so you can exponentially improve your hand with the right decisions at the right time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a four, so we're going to be player four, non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, northeast, two, three, nine, five, six, seven, four cracks, three, three, four, all singles, no jokers. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would be torn between consecutive run four, five, six, seven, or three, six, nine. I think I would give these up. Four, five, six, seven, or three, six, nine. So we wouldn't need that, and we wouldn't need that. We have one, two, three, four, five tiles for three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five for four, five, six, seven. And here we can pass. Whoa, people do pass pairs. Maybe we could play three, six, nine with dragons. Three, six, nine dragon. Let's focus on three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We'll pass these three. Wow. I hope nobody would ever do that. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine dragons. Pass those. Three, six, nine. Three, six, six, nine. Let's give up the six. A little risky. Five, six consecutive bams. We've got a dragon and like numbers. I think I would give up on the nine. We could play three, six, nine in one suit. Or we could play three, six, nine with dragons. I don't think I would pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. I think I would give up on the six and pass these three right here. There's a flower. Maybe we could do three, six, nine with dragons concealed. We do have a pair of eights now. I don't think that's going to help though. Let's keep the six. We're on cross pass. We have to pass. So I would pass the white dragon, which I rarely do. But we have to. We're obligated because this is a cross pass. 
So we've got a 6, 9, and a west. I would pass the 8 in the west. I think I would probably focus on this right here and give up the 6. No keepers. We're going to pass those for optional. We got eights back. All right, four discards. We'll really, we're kind of in between three, six, nine, knitted, and joker bait here is probably what I would do. Joker bait is a term that Tom Sloper coined where you hold on to a multiple that you don't need. Later in the game, maybe during the third wall, you would discard one, someone would make an exposure with a joker, and on your next turn you would exchange for the joker. So you have to be patient, and timing is critical. There are videos that I made to demonstrate that strategy. Look in the video description below for that. So we have four discards, joker bait, and a hand with no gaps. Three, six, nine, knitted. Thanks to the pairs passed in the Charleston. This is why I don't pass pairs. This is a game of multiples. So if you pass pairs, you could be feeding into your opponent's hand. For the next one, we're going to be non-dealer. I rolled a six, so that would be player two. We have a joker, flower, dragon, south, pair of ones. We have six, seven, eight, pair eights, six dots. Here we have a single crack and then two bams. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on consecutive runs six, seven, eight. Probably keep the eight since it's consecutive. I would give up the south and probably these ones eventually. This could be used with a consecutive hand, seven, eight dragon. This would be the fifth hand down. So I would hold these pass these, but I think because we have three, I would go ahead and break this up right now. Pass these three. We only have five discards. And here's an example of why I would want to break that up. Because here I got now a pair of twos, a two, I would have had two pair and I would have been able to break them up, but it's a little complex. So I would break up the two bam and probably pass these three. We got a nine, which is consecutive, so I would keep it. Six, seven, eight, nine, four numbers. And don't worry about what the suits are. Just gather four numbers in a range. More likely than not, we're going to be in one suit but I would hold these for options. Here we have East Red 2. I would probably pass a BAM with a Red Dragon. There's a Flower and a 6. 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the range we're gathering. So we have two discards. This is when I would whittle this down so that we could release a tile to pass. Here we have 6, 7, 8, consecutive Kong potential or 
70 dragon. So I probably would give up one of these. We could do six, seven, eight, nine, nine. We have these flowers though. I would want to play something with the flowers. Seven, eight, seven, eight. If we can get a seven bam. So I'm thinking either one of those can go. I think the six, because if we pass the nine, if someone's playing a year hand, this would be risky. So I would pass these three. We got a seven. I would focus here. Six, seven, eight, or seven, eight dragon. Discard these or pass these. There's a six, six, seven, eight Kongs. We have tiles to pass, so we still have options. We got a nine. That's a surprise. But we have flowers, and this range doesn't work. Six, seven, eight, three numbers in Kongs with the flowers, so I would give it up. I would keep the white. Because we could do 6-7 dragon or 7-8 dragon and use one of these for joker bait. I would pass these for optional. We got a 6 back. I would probably discard it and focus on one suit. Most likely, third hand down, Kongs, 6-7-8. Four discards for that hand. I think that was a good Charleston. I rolled an 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. We're non dealer. So I will get 13 tiles. We have north and a pair of wests. Here we have cracks with a pair of sevens, bams, singles, dots, singles. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would probably play Odds, big odds, five, seven, nine. And I would just hold them all. Five, seven, nine because of the seven. So I would probably pass a wind, break that up to help with future passes, because I know we're going to get keepers. Five, seven, nine, but we do have a potential for consecutive. And we have discards here, so we could keep that and see what comes in. Let's do four, two, north. There's an eight, so it's looking more like consecutive now. Five through nine, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass these three. We have a six, five, six, seven, eight, consecutive run. We did get a flower and we have wins. Five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. I would switch 
to consecutive now. Five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. Or we could do six, seven, eight, nine. Here's a hand right here. Five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. Or we could do seven, eight, nine with eights. Maybe give up the five. And the nine. Let's pass these three. There's an eight and a flower. Okay, so we have north, south, five, six, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Let's see here. I wouldn't pass the white dragon. So what would be ideal is if we can get a nine bam or a six bam, nine bam or a six bam or a seven dot or an eight bam because we could play seven, eight, nine concealed with eights and use this as joker bait. Let's pass these three. This is a little bit risky. Five, six consecutive dots. No keepers. There's a keeper. Seven, eight, seven, eight. I would give up on the nine now because this is a hand. Seven, eight, seven, eight, second from the bottom under consecutive run. Four flowers, pair, pung, pair, pung. No gaps. So I would discard these in this pass. No keepers. Four discards. Consecutive run, seven, eight, seven, eight. The Charleston is half the game. The purpose of the Charleston is to strengthen your dealt hand through a series of passes. Focus on multiples or the predominant pattern. When you run out of discards, pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.